Oh my goodness. I can guess and understand humans' intention in advance. Sorry for the shock, friend. I hope you will learn from this experience. Hopefully, you will agree with me that uh, human touch has different types of meanings, right? Uh, that means it conveys uh, different types of uh, meaningful uh, messages, signals. Like when you want to have some intimate relationship with someone, you will not touch uh, as you touch when you are not in the mood of doing some physical intimate acts. Of course not. These two touches should be different, isn't it? And there, you know, there are good touch, bad touch, and in between there is a neutral touch. A good touch makes you feel safe and cared for. A bad touch makes you feel uncomfortable. Uh, which uh, perfectly fits with uh, some people who are indifferent about everything. Although I uh, seriously doubt about their indifference sometimes, but uh, because what is going on inside a human's mind, you don't know. So what uh, appears to be indifferent might be, there are some sinister intentions hidden inside uh, somebody's mind. Anyway, why I'm suddenly talking about touch? Because uh, there are some reasons for it. Because we are concerned about our lab robots, our human and robot partners. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. Right. And basically, they, I mean, human and robots, they feel the touch, not like humans. Because they are built in such a way so that everything is artificial. There are artificial intelligence and there are everything artificial skin a lot of uh, hundreds and thousands of sensors cameras uh, and what not i am not going uh, in detail at present because we are concerned about touch now on touch itself i have made several videos and there are reasons for doing several videos on touch because there are different types of touch right anyway now, today we are going to talk about pressure sensors, which are uh, extremely uh, or closely rather uh, related to uh, different types of touches. They are basically devices that grant human and robots a sense of touch by converting physical force into electrical signals. That means, as I said before, that uh, human touch and uh, robotic touch is uh, not similar. They are not the same thing. Because a human and robot always converts everything to electrical signals, right? As a result, for robot partners, extensive arrays of these sensors act as a synthetic skin. Because when you touch, suppose you hold its hand or uh, touch somewhere that, uh, that might... Uh, uh, okay, I'm not going into detail, but you can guess what I mean. So, it allows them to perceive the location, first of all, where you touch. It could be some private parts or something like that. They also feel the intensity of your touch and how much pressure you are applying and the subtlety of physical contact during those intimate moments. This, this, these are called tactile feedback. Okay, This tactile feedback is crucial because it enables the robot to distinguish between a gentle caress that means your, your, your touch is very gentle, uh, very soft, uh, very empathetic and when you give it a hug 
a firm embrace it also understands that okay this man wants something else it is not it's his intention is going to some wrong direction actually ultimately it forms the basis for a physically nuanced and safe interaction basically they convert everything into electrical signals now to comprehend and react to these physical cues the robot employs sophisticated artificial intelligence machine learning algorithms are there because that analyzes the data from pressure sensors in conjunction with other sensor inputs because there is not only pressure sensors there are several other different types of sensors all over the body now if i try if i want to make uh, videos only on sensors there could be thousands of video, videos because there are different types of sensors and their activities are so different and so versatile that i can make thousand videos on them so you can understand the the total uh, the magnitude of the whole thing it is so big so humongous so gigantic okay anyway but overall their uh, the data the robot collects from all the sen sensors all the sensor inputs uh, like uh, use as a focal tone uh, facial expressions there are a lot of things and by identifying complex patterns across those data streams that is really very vital because and here the robot is much much superior than us because they can very quickly very rapidly and very quickly in a fraction of seconds they could uh, traverse those streams of data billions of parameters in a fraction of seconds and learn to complete specific interactions with the user's state of mind just reading those data and those patterns therefore through a process of uh, it, it is called reinforcement learning and through this process of reinforcement learning it refines its behaviors determining which uh, responses are most appropriate to foster a sense of connection and emotional resonance etc and finally the development of such intimate robot partners significantly advances several key areas of technology most notably in haptics and sensor technology we'll talk about that uh, later in uh, my future videos of course and of course the ai driven emotion recognition which is a very interesting topic if you really are robot lover if you are i hope you are a robot lover that is why you are watching this video and there are of course there are a broader field of human robot interactions hri which is also a very broad topic a big topic of course we will talk about them later in future videos so in today's video we if we summarize there are pressure sensors and they are devices that tactically convert physical force into electrical signals okay so i hope that makes sense at least you can have some idea about how robot partners your lab robots uh, treat your touch and guesses exactly what you want from it so that is it thank you for joining us on this journey let's continue this conversation in the comments below if you like the video please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed tons of thanks for your support it means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden slate so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe